Now I'd like to look at a way we can actually measure the speed of waves in a liquid. We've got a grapnel tray here. Now this is just one of these normal kind of scientific trays that you've got. And what we've got is a load of water that's just covering the bottom. Okay, now this is maybe a different method to one where you use a ripple tank. But the problem with a ripple tank is that lots of schools only maybe have one or two of these. They don't have enough for everybody to have a go actually doing the practical themselves. Now, because we're going to be measuring speed, we need to know the distance and the time. So we're going to use a meter ruler to measure the distance and also a stopwatch just to record the time. And the easy way to actually get a ripple to move across this thing here is just to pick up the tray and drop it. And actually what it's really nice to see now is that wave just goes from one end to the other, it reflects, it bounces back, and actually it keeps going for a fair amount of time. Now the advantage to this is that it means that it's quite easy to get a very good measurement of the length of the grapnel tray that we can do in meters. And then what we can do is we can start and stop the clock when it comes to actually recording the time for it to go from one place to another. We get quite a long time if it goes back several times and that means we're going to have better results when it comes to working at speed. So things you could maybe vary include maybe the depth of the liquid and you might find that uh, there's a different speed uh, if it's shallow or deep water. And again what we're looking at is really that ripple that moves along the top of the water surface. So this is just a very straightforward way that you could maybe measure the speed of a wave in a liquid in the lab.